this following video, if you are struggling to choose between a Dogo Argentino also known as the Argentine Mastiff, and a Perro de Presa also known as the Presa Canario, we have compiled all the detailed information you need to know to help you make the best choice. So let's begin the fight. Intimidation Factor The Dogo Argentino was developed by Dr. Antonio Norz Martinez and his brother Agustin in Argentina. Their goal was to create an amazing big game hunting dog that would also be a good watch dog and family companion. They proceeded by mixing the old fighting dog of Cordoba with Bulldogs, Pointers, Great Danes, Bull Terriers, Irish Wolfhounds, Boxers, Great Pyrenees, Dog de Bordeaux and Spanish Mastiffs. An adult male Dogo Argentino stands at a height of 24 to 27 inches at the withers, and weighs between 40 to 45 kilograms. They are large, powerful, athletic, muscular dogs with long legs. The Dogo gives the impression of explosive power and energy. Arguably this may be the strongest or and most muscular breed on the planet. While intended for hunting wild boar, these dogs unfortunately entered the fighting ring and have been therefore banned from many countries. Whereas the Perda Presa Canario is a mastiff breed from the Canary Islands. Muscular, fearless and attentive, this dog was bred for work. Farmers on the islands were continually dealing with packs of feral dogs that would attack their livestock. The Presa was the answer and became the ultimate protector. An adult male Presa Canario stands at a height of 22 to 26 inches at the withers, and weighs between 50 to 65 kilograms. They are large, muscular and powerful dogs with the well-deserved reputation as being strong-willed and difficult to control. Their head is massive and compact covered in loose skin and squarish. They are naturally dominant with the potential to assert aggression. With all that power behind them, presses became popular in dogfighting circles and are often among the breeds that are outlawed. In our opinion, both the dogs have got all the hallmarks of an intimidating breed. So one point to both, Dogo Argentino 1 Presa Canario 1. Bite Force, among the two, the Dogo Argentino pressure bite topped 500 psi, and that of a Presa Canario measured 540 psi. So one point to Presa Canario, Dogo Argentino 1 Presa Canario 2. Powerful Guard Dog, the Dogo Argentino is a powerful dog with an amazingly powerful dual personality. He is a loving guardian of his family, including children, and fierce hunter capable of taking on a wild boar. However, due to their stamina, persistence and fearlessness, the Dogo Argentino have also been trained and used for fighting roles for much of its history. Today, Dogos are active in many activities beyond hunting. They have worked as military and police dogs, guide dogs, therapy dogs, and search and rescue dogs. The Presa Canario are naturally suspicious of people they have never met before which is why they have always been highly prized as watchdogs in the Canary Islands. They are observant, curious, and wary of strangers. These qualities, combined with his deep bark, make him a very effective watch and guard dog. Both the dogs are natural watch dogs and the need to protect is a trait that's deeply embedded in a dog's psyche. In our opinion, when it comes to assessment as a powerful guard dog, both are at the same level. Hence you may choose the one you like. So one point to both. Dogo Argentino to Presa Canario 3. Temperament. Despite their horrible fighting history, these dogs can be whatever you make them. They are loyal and loving to their family and at the same time fierce and hostile towards anything that is threatening them or their family. They can be strong-headed and can be a problem to handle if not obedience trained and socialized. They need a strong leader who is willing to put time and training into their pet as these dogs will look for opportunities to try to take leadership from a less dominant human. In our opinion both the dogs have similar temperament. So one point to both. Dogo Argentino 3 Presa Canario 4 Lifespan The average life expectancy of a Dogo Argentino is in between 10 to 15 years and that of a Presa Canario is in between 9 to 11 years. So one point to Dogo Argentino. Dogo Argentino 4 Presa Canario 4 Exercise and Energy Levels Both the dogs are high maintenance dogs in the exercise department and they should ideally be owned by active people who will develop their athletic abilities. They must be given plenty of physical exercise to maintain their superb muscle structure and plenty of mental stimulation to satisfy their desire to work and hunt. They ideally need to be taken out for a walk, a minimum of twice a day for a good hour each time. However, in terms of energy levels, 
Adelgo Argentino has a slight edge over the Presa Canario, so one point to Delgo Argentino. Delgo Argentino 5 Presa Canario 4 Friendly with kids and other pets, both the breeds are known to be good around children's, more especially if they are well bred, even tempered dogs. In case of other dogs and pets, the Dogos were bred to work well with other dogs without showing aggression but like presses, they can show aggression which is why it's important they be introduced to each other slowly and carefully to make sure things go smoothly. So one point to both, Dogo Argentino 6 Presa Canario 5. So the winner between the two guard dogs is the Argentine Mastiff, Dogo Argentino.